So hi friend, uh, today we will talk about uh, how to register the C++ classes in QML engine. So it will be visible to the UI side or the QML side. So we can access their property or uh, the methods of that class uh, and set and reset or we perform some operation from the QML side or access that property to directly from the QML side. So there are two, three way to do this. First, uh, so in this lecture, we are talking about uh, how to register the C++ classes by using the context property. Basically, we are today only talking about the context property. In lex next lecture, we are uh, talk another property, how to register the C++ classes by using the QML register type. And the another one also the uh, QML provide, which is called the singleton provider. So also where we can also register the class and we'll talk uh, in this lecture how to differentiate in, in these all the classes in further and what the difference between and all uh, register types and all and after that also in further uh, lecture we also see how to register the QML cl uh, file means the .QML file in the C++ and it will directly access to the whole like uh, in what happened in QML site. So like we are uh, importing all the directory, but in this case we register that uh, QML file to the C++ site and it will directly behave uh, uh, such like uh, in C++ class. So we see this in upcoming lectures, like uh, it will uh, like take, uh, I think we create uh, three to four lectures. So in one video, we. Uh, it discuss the one property in one video okay so it will be easy to identify and after that we make a one session to combine all the together and create the uh, see uh, and discuss where what the difference between and all these classes and rest types okay so first we create one project uh, called uh, the class uh, 4 so today we are creating the uh, class 4 uh, okay so name of the project so we are working on like a qt5 but in similar way to you can do in qt6 and on any version of the c plus uh, qt okay so we are taking the one node here so and then uh, so this is our project uh, directory where we have uh, one main and this is the qml file so we uh, create one class in c plus plus side and we access their properties and methods in the qml side so Today we are talking about the QML context property. Okay, so what we see here, like there, the this is the QML engine which uh, like provide the connection between the C++ and the Qt side. Also provide some more functionality which we'll see in further in upcoming lectures. So today we are only see the context property. Okay, so what we do here? First we uh, create one class uh, like create uh, one class where we uh, like include one uh, q object q object basically what is uh, just it provides the functionality or the basic core core parent property where uh, already register these classes to the engine which will work the meta object file like qt totally work on the meta object file and meta object file this will like convert to the meta object and they will directly related to the c++ and c++, uh, c++ will directly communicate via the meta files and after that the signal system mechanism will work and the qml also uh, like qml also written in the c++ because the qt core also in written totally in the c++ and uh, so after that we uh, like write in the qml side and future we see how this qml engine will work and uh, what if in need further we need to change something uh, in future so we go in the qt uh, like qt stack and we change our uh, uh, changes in Qt stack and then rebuild that uh, Qt stack and further we also see how to we create our custom C++ class or we should call it the different like uh, we have present like button or rectangle and all so such like that so we first we are select the Q object and we provide some name like my class okay that class name so uh, we created this class uh, so here you see that we included the Q object meta and the print uh, like 
which uh, we inherit from the QMAT app. So it will provide some macro which is called the QMacro. QMacro related to the QMAT object related and provide some other macro access like where the Q property and Q invocable. Well. So here in this lecture we see how this uh, Q property and Q invocable will work. Work. So first we create one property. Uh, okay. So we should call it the Q underscore property so it will take uh, the type of the property any of the type you can make but make sure uh, the name uh, the type is not different if uh, like type contain more than one like long long int and something like that so you you type defined so or uh, uh, like uh, yeah, type defined or sort sort name or define one macro so it will directly like access so just here you make sure what you need to add here so just uh, i am taking the uh, title i am making the one property which is called it the title will change here so it's the q string type and make sure here to only register this property to directly access from the QML site only the QT suggested means the QT provided the official documentation which is supported by the QML if you have, you are using the standard C++ standard means uh, the native C++ types so, so first it convert to the QT data types and then uh, you can use otherwise it will generate error or cannot access that types to the QML okay so make sure you can uh, like coding in native C++ but you can't directly use in QML side okay but you can use from the native C++ side so make sure that so here uh, we provide uh, the type of that property and make here I am title name of that property okay so what uh, this will uh, actually so like uh, this is the type of the title is name and uh, we have the access of this property we can read we can write and set property and title change title change which is the signal notify like we, whenever the property is changed someone want to like reset this property so it will notify to the QML or we can connect other signal as well uh, to this uh, so it will directly call to the other classes function and all we'll see upcoming lecture uh, how the signal will work signal slot will work in this today just i'm uh, like talking about the QML context property and we'll see then further uh, step by step we'll see how it will behave and all so first uh, let me generate this property uh, you can right click on that uh, like select this property and right click on that and here we uh, it generate the meshing property okay so we generate the meshing property so let's say uh, uh, title that title name is small so we can make here title as capital this is the standard format otherwise you uh, get an error okay so here we no 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 this where we make the public slot public slot basically I'm making here to do what so it will directly access uh, without the Q invocable Q invocable is uh, another macro so we can directly uh, we don't need if, uh, the, there are in the methods so we cannot register that method and we need to call from the QML side so we can directly call from the QML side by the object so we'll uh, see this lecture how this Q invocable work other than uh, if you are oh, making any uh, function to as a slot public slot so you can also without a macro you can access from the QML side okay so it will work fine so let's uh, initialize this property so see how this property like visible or not so here I am putting the name is Adesh Singh okay so initialize this name so uh, let's create the object of that object that's all this class I will see in next what uh, step we need to do so here I am like resting this class uh, in C++ engine uh, the help of C++ engine so it will be visible to the QML side so what first uh, thing we need to do include the header file of that class so let's include uh, my class okay and another uh, header file we need to include here what which is the context QML context okay so include QML context okay so this is the header file where which provide the property to register the C++ class to the QML engine so it will be visible to the UI side okay so let's create uh, an object of that class which is called the my class okay so name is my class 
okay so this is the object we create the one pointer so let's initialize the memory okay this is the constructor okay so what we do here next step which is call it the engine engine is the when role which uh, like perform in between c plus plus and the qman okay so engine dot what next it's call it the root context root context and there are another like object in root context which is called it the set context property set context property means that context property also a q property inside that uh, root context so we can access that setting this this is similar which is created earlier here the title similar that type but type type is different so there are also we have the set title here are the set context property okay so it will take two argument first argument it will take which name you want to give that class to it visible in qml side okay you can take any name so i suggest uh, to make at the format like g g it means globally or any of name you want so which i suggest to make uh, that similar name of your class okay so my class and here we provide the object okay my class this one if you are creating uh, the object not at the pointer so you can pass the address of that pointer okay so it will directly register there is no issue with that so now the role is happen of the qml engine so now it will be visible to the uh, qml side so let's see what happened here like uh, uh, let let's check what uh, the window is see we see in without using that class okay there is no error we see here there is no error so app uh, class is executable executing already so we see this error it's showing hello world okay so we want to change this uh, title okay so what we do here b already registered that object okay g my class which is here we register this g my class okay so in dot dot what is the property we provided in c plus plus what property means this title and all means this property any of you can access it. this one access this one access this one we'll see how to access this one also okay so what we do here title We'll grab the title and let's see what happening here. Let's see. Okay, it will change the name here. Are they sing? Okay. So in further we see uh, like set is the set uh, uh, like in slot which is called it the set title which here we mentioned the access specified public slot. So this slot we make here. We can also make this public as a public. So it you can't access from the QML side but I am making such a like slot public slot which can also be visible in the QML side so let's use this so what we do here uh, in QML side so first we import the control if you want the button okay so let's include it and we make one button um, and we provide some text which is called it click me okay so there are some highlight property let's see the some color code okay so uh, uh, button itself have one signal which is called it on click okay so on, on click what we uh, do here like g my class okay this is the my class which is registered in the context property are using so set title set title so what i'm say setting this is context property okay Okay, so we set this title and directly reflect to the title. Okay, so what we do here? This place and center of parent. Parent mean and window in the center. So let's see what happening here. If I click on this, it will directly setting this property. Okay, this is the context property. Okay, so let's what next we see here. Uh, like using the methods you here uh, one more thing here you can also set this similar thing so what is like uh, I'm commenting this out so what I make here G my class dot title also this will, will also work sorry 
uh, yeah this one this one also similar work like set title and title itself because we have the read and write access of that property title okay so that will work both so let's see if it is working or not look like i'm clicking on that button see the changes so this is the we call it the qml context property and register the class in c plus plus and using the qml sites so another thing what we need to see here like i am making another which is uh, we discuss uh, earlier which is the q invocable so let's uh, we make the q invocable invocable means uh, any of the method which is independent from that property okay so you can directly call from the qml side so q invocable like similar the method we are making like get no i'm not get i'm set data okay set data so set data which i am providing here string or the name okay so let's uh, refactor this using the refactor definition in the series class so what here i'm changing i'm setting the title okay so we setting the title here so what we set here set title okay set title what here we do like i am uh, m q t software developer oh no 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 what we provide here no i'm not providing from here directly i am providing from the qml side okay so set data i am using basically so i'm like removing this line and using the g my class dot this one set data so i am qt software developer okay so what we do here yeah just i am clicking here i am a software developer qt so you can directly call this method from the but you need to make q invocable otherwise it will not work or you need to make this as a public slot okay so what other thing also we discuss here in this lecture what uh, other than because you are calling similar so i'm not calling similar if i'm not calling similar so what we do here i'm making i am underscore title let's see if it is work or not then i'll see so what is different okay just setting the uh object so let's see if it is working or not look it will not work yet look not work yet because we are not emitting the signal here we are changing the title from the c plus plus side but we are not emitting the title so what we need to change here we see this one so emit this signal emit will notify to the qml side okay let's see because uh, this will not emitting automatically because this is not register in the qml property so let's see if i am clicking on this this is the change because signal is emitted okay so that's all in this class in next lecture we see how to register the qml register type where we create multiple object but in this qml context we cannot create multiple object we create single object and it will visible to the whole project any of number of the files in your project it will visible to the all the QML site means all the QML file you can access this property and set that property okay so there have no restriction of that so that's all from this class we'll see in next class okay thank you bye bye Ta -ta.